Usage meter for L5 is now available with plenty of new features and expanded metering capabilities. In this release, you will get vSAN and NSXT expanded feature metering, granular VROPS metering, horizon metering, data hashing control, integrated appliance management, reverse proxy support, and FIPS updates. Let's first start with the metering changes. In Usage Meter 4.5, Virialize operations is no longer auto detected. It needs to be added the same way as the rest of the metered products. If there is a vCenter server monitored by Virialize operations and added to Usage Meter 4.5, the Virialize operations details will indicate a referenced vCenter server that is also metered by Usage Meter 4.5. What's more, now metering of Virialize operations version 8.6 or later will report virtual machines part of license groups against the highest license edition assigned to that group. For vSAN, Usage Meter 4.5 will now detect four new features HCI Mesh and Shared Witness, part of vSAN standard, and Data in Transit Encryption and Cloud Native Storage, part of vSAN Advanced. In your cluster history report, you can check which vSAN features are used by a vSAN cluster. Check against the cluster name the value in vSAN FinCon. This column contains the integer sum of all features used by the cluster. Usage Meter will report the used features against the vSAN edition with which they are associated. The NSXT features that are now available for metering are Integration with distributed firewall, IPv6 with dynamic routing, dynamic IPv6 allocation and services, NSX distributed IDS and NSX federation. The way to check the features used by the virtual machines part of your NSXT topology is to check in your VM history report against the virtual machine the value in the NSX FINT column. Moving forward with horizon metering, you will now see that there is an additional entry in the product list of the usage meter 4.5 web application. The way to add the product is to enter its endpoint IP address or hostname, user credentials, and the domain to which it belongs. After accepting the product certificate and the connection status is OK, the metering starts. Each meter collects information about the number of concurrent connections per Horizon license. It checks for changes every hour and sends them to vCloud usage insight. Another new feature of usage meter 4.5 is data hashing control. It helps you control the hashing of your data in three ways. The first way is anonymizable fields are hashed. This is the default way and this is how it was up until the release of usage meter 4.5. The second way is anonymizable fields are redacted. Redacted anonymization means that you can replace the naming of your collected data with a string of your choice. The last way is to apply no hashing. It means that all selected product data will reside in plain text in the cloud and will be shown in your usage reports. Another new feature of Usage Meter 4.5 is its integration with Virtual Appliance Management Interface. With VAMI, you can monitor the Usage Meter health and performance and change its networking, firewall, and access settings. You can now redirect Usage Meter 4.5 logs to a syslog server through VAMI. This completes our usage meter for 5 what's new walkthrough. Thank you for watching.